Hey there guys, I just wanted to give a bit of an update before I get into it. Just in editing I've realised that the mic quality on two or three videos is pretty poor. I'm not 100% sure what's happened but I think potentially when I've been recording a couple of episodes the Blue Yeti Nano mic that I use has become disconnected. So the microphone has reverted back to the default one that's on the control of the PS5 which is why you've got like a it's like a weird tinny sound so I've checked like a few videos it seems to be on two or three in a row and this is the first one and then after that it's fine so it must have just been one sitting the wires come loose or something so apologies for that but uh, we'll get into the video and hopefully you'll still enjoy it with a slightly crappy sound on the mic there Good evening and welcome back once again. So we're at home to Real Zaragoza. If you watched the last video, we had a comprehensive 5-0 win and the match before that, we had a semi-final win against Villarreal. We've got a final up and coming against Barcelona in the Copa del Rey in the near future. But we've got to focus on the league. We have actually tied up the league now. We just want to keep these wins going, see how many points we can get. And we need to keep that, that confidence for the final when that comes up. I believe it's going to be in May at some point. So a couple of changes, well, we have brought a few players back that we rested in the last match. I am going to give Schubert a rest, he's been playing so well, but we're going to bring in the youngster post. We brought in Bajer on the right, and we're going to give Carlos Perez a rest again, he's been in scintillating form. And we brought Mujer back from a rest as well, so pretty good lineup. Just want to sort of switch things around a bit, give people a try. I think Bajer deserves it, and I think Carlos Perez needs a little bit of a break. Be fresh to go for the next few matches. And here we are, back home at the lovely stadium, stadium of La Rosa Leda. La Rosa Leda. Still haven't worked out how to pronounce that correctly. But we've had a brilliant run of it recently. Mudrick's been a little bit quieter than all, and I don't mean he's been poor, because he's still been, I think in March he was still in our top three for the average rating of players but not quite the scintillating form he had when he first joined, where I think he either scored or assisted in the first something like five matches, uh, possibly more. Um, he was unstoppable, mainly goals, and then he started getting assists as well. And the right bit McDowell, he's been solid since he joined, and I'll mention it in the last video. Bit of a revelation, really just got him as a stopgap, but he's been pretty solid, got a couple of assists, Hopefully he can keep improving. That was a bit poor, a bit of miscommunication there. Don't think Mudrick expected that ball there. It's a crucial tackle. Trying to play around the living a little bit dangerously, especially with my, my attacks. I like to press. Got away with that time, he did pretty well. Nice ball from Herrera there. Beautiful ball, in fact. Nelly again. Yeah, uh, wonderful finish with his right. He is very, very left-footed normally, but um, I'll tell you what, I know Vieira got the goal there, but Herrera was involved in all of the build-up. Lovely way of pass here, so Vieira could just run straight onto a great first touch, opened up his body, and a fantastic finish with his right. Keep up on doing anything about that. It's low, hard. Best of camera angles there, but yeah, you can see can't stop that. Brilliant start. Not just the goal itself, but the work from Herrera, the passes he was putting in. Again, he's probably a bit of an unsung hero. He doesn't get too involved in the assists and the goals. He's more just to break up play. Puts in some of the simple balls. 
gets the play going, and then it's the likes of Vieira and Zerxi and Perez that get all the headlines. But he's very, very dependable. Goes a bit unseen sometimes. This error again. Thought we got fouled there, but nope, won the ball. And I won't let them rest. I keep chasing them down. And he's do well to get out wide. But we'll win it back. Here's Mudrik. They have a ball. Tempted a difficult pass, but here's Xerxi. Well defended in the end, just about. Rodrig, oh, just defend, uh, deflected wide. Did the best at corners. Uh, another corner. No, they kept it in. Put him dangerously again. Yep. Didn't work for them that time. We've got to be careful. Herrera, oh, wonderful strike. Now, normally when he does get in the score sheet, it's like a 20 order. <laughs> um, let's put a couple of good ones. Oh, nice ball hit edge. Bit of space here. Look like a foul, but get it back. Tuxi, wonderful time finish. The pass deflected, it was behind him. Still managed to get it. Oh, he's offside. Ah. Oh, just offside there. Just about the correct decision. Great finish, though. <laughs> It's beaten there though. What has happened there? Oh, poor McDowell. That was really unlucky. Poor defending from over. He did really well with Magic before, then he's let the defender go. And this shot was going wide. And it's. <laughs> oh, dear. What is he doing? It's definitely an own goal. It's, uh, it wasn't going in. Yeah, it's gone well. <laughs> oh no. That's a shame. We just had a goal disallowed as well. Takes a good touch. It's all about what you could do. Maybe you could have held the ball up for another player, but. Get a shot and you never know what might happen. I mean, look at the last one that we just let in. We need to do better with corners, we really do. Ooh, could have went anywhere. Oh, come on, that's not a foul. Again, we're dominating, but we've just had a, been a bit unlucky. Sometimes. Wait, wait for crossing it though. What's he doing in the, in the attack? This with Vieira. Oh, it's wide. Good play. Good effort. Probably a little bit wider than what I first saw. Maybe a, a few yards, but. Sure, how they got that. 
He's going to trip up the GPU. He hasn't been on the ball too much. He is now though. And again. Oh, that's got to be a foul. Yeah. It's like 2001 there. Herrera. Oh, good save. One for the cameras. Made it look probably more difficult than what it was. Yeah. Come on, let's uh, fire this in if we can. That'll be half time though. 1 1. Stats wise, yeah, possession. They had one shot, not even on target. And somehow they level up 1-1. Football can be strange sometimes. And I don't think we did anything particularly wrong, wrong in that half. Where they didn't really, weren't as clinical as normal. One Rajib was, I think, I know it was an ongoing but by um, McDowell, but I think it was more at fault for Old Magic. Lucky ball through. Oh, just a little bit heavy. It's got to be a foul, isn't it? How is that not a foul? I don't know. Great tackle there from Cosmo. Sexy. Unlucky there. Did a bit of a weird save. Here again. Herrera. One of them will go in, I'm sure. Herrera's had more shots in this game than he has probably in the uh, first half of the season. I mean, we're not getting anything for one of the sort of the green or anything, um, and the referees don't help. I mean, we could to do something because he's just not quite on it at the moment. Is it? I have to make some subs soon. Yeah, we'll do that now. And we're actually going to do in reverse what we normally do. We're going to bring on Perez up top, Argas for Fabio Vieira, and Mudrick's going to go off for Harrington. I think Fabio Vieira has played well. Sixty's played okay. Um, Mudrick has been. I just can't get things going. Um, it's not the only one in this game though. I'm not sure what you're doing there. Just felt like I was surrounded. I didn't know which way to turn. <laughs> Careful, it's still there uh, in the balance. Tell off from Cosimo. Now, Harren has been on form recently, so what can he do? Absolutely clattered there. Good work from Perez. Oh, still unlucky. It's the post. There it is. Roger with the goal. He hasn't really been in the game much at all. Thought I was going to be unlucky there with uh, hitting the post. 
Whereas with all the hard work, all cuts are not good. But um, wins are back. Probably couldn't have passed it to be fair there, but I did and tapped it in. Got there in the end. Still only 2-1 though, it's still in there. I know they haven't really been in the game attacking wise. Apart from that one screen, one goal. But we certainly haven't been at our best. And um, the substitute immediately making an impact. That was all Perez that set that up. And our cast as well. He came on for Vieira, so the changes have had immediate effect. Marcus again. Perez. Oh, made it wide. Wow, I expected that just to rustle in the back of the net there. It's perfect. Everything. Bar the finish. I would certainly say Perez is more dynamic than Xerxes up top. But Xerxes offers us that for, you know, the 90% of the time that he plays. Um, that focal point, he's not just scoring, he's assisting, he's holding the ball up. You play the ball into him and he plays it out wide. And he works so well with Perez on the way there. But having that ability, ability to have someone like Perez also be a really good striker when needed. A different type of striker. Um, that's pretty useful. Like I say, it's not over yet. So you need to be careful. I'm just not taking any chances there, I'm just clearing it. Reset and try and defend the throw in. Good tackle for that. No, it's a free kick. I didn't thought I was going to tackle. Might not have been, I might be wrong, but it seemed like it. Ooh, that was poor. That was poor defending. Cosmo should have cleared that. He jumped under the ball. Oh, here with that. Take the ball long from the goal kick, which we don't normally do. The man of match for me has been Herrera. Doubt you'll get it. Where the ratings go, but uh, we've seen the best player in the first half. One last chance, maybe it was just important not to let him attack there. Perez, and there it is, absolutely rifled in that time, no mistake. And again, another partnership with Bajer and Perez, which always works well. Very similar to uh, Xerxes and Perez, but the other way around. Bajer on the right, little one two. Great first touch, absolutely laced in for this week offer. Brilliant. And that's just going to be about the last kick of the game. And there it is. In the end, it was, well, I wouldn't say comfortable even then, but the scoreline probably flatters us a little bit. You probably wouldn't think it from the stats, you know, they literally had one shot off target, and that was it. Fortunately, that deflected in for an own goal. 53% possession, that's probably one of our lowest for a while. And I think that just goes to show... We were a little bit out of sorts, we weren't quite up to our usual standard, we got the win in the end, which, you know, we always seem to find a way to do that, even when we don't have the best of games. But maybe just a little bit of a hangover with the celebrations of getting through to the final and then winning the league. Probably on a bit, little bit of a come down after that, but we're going to keep going. And man of the match goes to Bajer, which 
a little bit surprised at Carlos Perez getting a 7, very, very much well deserved. Arcas as well, he immediately had an impact. Herrera, like I say, he got good score, I agree with that as well. But Bichet, 7.5, that's fine. Mudrick, again, he's been quiet the past few matches, a bit of a strange one, but I know he'll come good again. But once again, thank you very much for joining. The next match is away. But once again, thank you very much for joining. Always appreciate the views, the likes, the comments, etc. Our next match is away to Tenerife. Very short turnaround, and then we've got another match in a few days. So again, rotation is going to be key. I think we've got about three or four more matches after that before we get to the final of the Copa del Rey. Fingers crossed we can do a self-justice and, and at least put in a good performance in a battle against Barcelona. It's going to be by far the toughest match of the season. Can we get a cup? That would be brilliant at some point in May. And then we'll be tying up the rest of the Division 2 and really interested to see what we're going to do when we get promoted in terms of what funds we're going to have, you know, how many players could we potentially get in? We might have to look at renewing some contracts for our players who are no doubt going to want to have more money. So that's going to reduce our budget again. But we'll wait and see. So yeah, think about liking the video if you did enjoy it. Comment down below. Subscribe if you want to keep up to date. But I'll see you all next time. Cheers.